What's up, bro? I hope you're doing well. Today, I want to talk to you about how I upgraded my wardrobe and how you can do the same. I'm going to show you step by step what you can do, which clothes are best and what works. What I've realized over time is that clothes are more important than I could have ever imagined. Back in the day, I was one of those people who didn't really care what they wore. I was a person, let me show you a moment that wore these kinds of pants, bro. Like these shorts in the summer, completely neon shorts in combination with shirts like this. They're not bad, by the way, but it really, really gives a vibe that's very different to someone who's clothed well, someone who's clothed like this. As I said, I used to be one of those people that didn't really care that much what they wore. And I just picked whatever was at the top of the wardrobe. And recently, I've been thinking about, hey, everybody, literally everybody, including yourself, cares about what you wear. Since I've started wearing like a lot more better stuff, and this is just a plain white shirt, there's nothing on this. It's like a cotton shirt with a little bit of a cut here, and that's it. I've got short on, shorts on because I'm at home. And since I've been paying more attention to what I've been wearing, I'm honestly have been feeling much better, feeling a lot more well. Not just myself, but others. Other people have also complimented me like, oh, hey, nice t-shirt, looks nice. Oh, hey, nice hair. Like, yeah, hair is not much with clothes, you know, but still. And hey, hey, this is a, this, this is a nice jacket. I'm going to show you a little bit later. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is very, very nice. And yeah, let's, let's make a cut here. <laughs> As a small side tangent, the people that don't really care about what they wear and how they look, that reflects their personality to a certain extent. Not all of them, but for most of the people, they don't really care about many things in life. They're usually unorderly, usually not doing stuff. At least that's the thing that I've noticed with myself. Once that I've, uh, once I've really switched my clothes from like really unorderly and they were still clean, but they didn't really fit. And since I've made this change, I felt a lot more orderly, a lot more organized, a lot better. And if you feel that something is like really not quite right, then this might be the thing that is it for you. And I'd say that's why we should get into the second part, which is show you what I actually wear and how you can do the same. Okay, so let's begin with socks. Basically, for all of these clothing pieces, the most important thing is that the things have to be really plain. Socks, very important. Gray, black, white. Those three are honestly the safest colors. And if you wear anything like like you can wear a combination of these as well, like black and gray, black and white, sure that works. What I don't want you to do is like these really colorful ones, like like maybe like a straight red would work, but like these rainbow socks, they just look bad on everyone. You are not going to be taken seriously if you want that. If you don't want to be taken seriously, go ahead, wear rainbow socks. I'm not going to stop you. But these are honestly like the foolproof bet that nobody's going to be like, oh, what is he wearing? It's like black socks are just completely normal. So you can't really go wrong with these. Same for underwear. <laughs> I'm not going to show you my underwear, but same colors, black, white, gray. Nothing really flashy, just things that get the job done. That's the best thing you can do. For pants in general, the best thing in my opinion here are just plain jeans, the blue ones, black ones. I don't really mind. But with jeans, you can't really go wrong. It gives like a really, it gives a casual vibe, but also a kind of more serious vibe at the same time. I can't really explain it, but it just works. Okay. That's, that's what jeans basically do. And unless it's like summer and it's really hot, then sure, you should put on shorts. Shorts, same thing. Don't put on, <laughs> don't put on these ones. If you're going anywhere, like put on some blue, some black ones, completely work fine. And if you're exercising, of course, you shouldn't be doing it in jeans either. The important thing here as well, make sure your clothes are not ripped. Some of these clothes by design are ripped, like at the knees. You might know those uh, jeans where the knees are just free. In my opinion, I don't think this is going to apply to everyone, but in my opinion, these give a very unorderly vibe to the person. 
And if you want to look more, how should I say this? I wouldn't say professional, but just in general, good looking. I think the best choice for you is just have like normal jeans without those holes or clothes in general without holes and stuff. Like you shouldn't be wearing and you shouldn't wear stuff that are just worn and torn and everything. So just be aware of that. T-shirts are basically the same thing again. White, black, and gray. I'm going to show you the best example that I can give you is this one. This, this is the one I have on right now. Looks like this. It's completely white. It's, I believe, no, uh, no sponsor or anything. It's from Lawrence Gray. I think this t-shirt is a freaking banger. It works perfectly for me. I have some black shirts. I have some gray shirts. They work like a charm. And I'm a pretty bad example of this, but you shouldn't have too much going on on your shirts. Let me show you what I mean. I, uh, I'm a metal fan, and on the metal, uh, metal shirts, there are often album covers. As you can see, when you go around with this, it gives a very different vibe to what you want to achieve in your usual everyday life. If you go outside, generally, just wear like one color, maybe two colors. But the, I can use this very well for training. Oops, sorry, knocked the camera a little bit. I can use this very well for training, very well for being at home. This, that's perfect. But going outside of them is a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit eh. Let's just say that. And that you should, uh, that's something that you should be careful of as well. If you have t-shirts, which have like cool cover art on them, but they look a little bit, look a little bit weird maybe then maybe you should reconsider taking them outside because they give a very different vibe to what uh, you want might you might want to achieve last but not least we've got our beloved jackets a jacket in my opinion should be fitting to you and one that really fits me and one that i really like as well bro it is a leather jacket this is real leather it's uh, it's uh, quite expensive to say the least, but leather jackets or denim jackets, those two options are pretty much foolproof. A leather jacket is going to give you more of a serious look. If you don't want that, then don't buy it. <laughs> it's fine. I just think these look badass. That's why I decided to get one. But a denim jacket, a denim jacket is a lot more casual and it's like a blue, nice color. It also looks really nice in my opinion. And this is something that you should definitely consider because if you have like one of these older, I'm going to show you in a moment, one of these other types of jackets that gives a very different vibe than you have like something more cool, something more professional looking. I'm going to have a picture up of one of the jackets that I mean right now. And I don't mean to say that they look bad because I don't think they look bad, but they don't give the same vibe as like a really nice coat in the winter, for example. The coat really gives you like a... It just looks better on pretty much everybody, in my opinion. And the jacket, as I said, isn't bad. But the coat just looks a lot more stylish and a lot more better for most people. Maybe, maybe you're not one of them. Maybe you think like, hey, this is... I don't like coats. And yeah, fair enough. If you don't, then that's... Uh, that's your decision. But I think a coat is definitely a much better choice than like one of these really thick jackets that look a little bit like colory and bright, to say the least. I think like a white dark or like a really dark, like black and gray combination is the best that you can go for. And with that said, we're basically through with the clothing tutorial. And basically the most important thing is that you shouldn't have too much going on on your clothes. I prefer to have like one, a darker color or two, like a white color. And that is probably the safest bet that you can go for. Because if you have like these multicolored shirts, then as I said, you're probably going to have like a different, a very different vibe than the person who has just got like one color, like this white shirt, there's nothing, there's nothing you can do wrong with this one. And that is it for the clothing tutorial, but I have a few more important things to say. The first one, this is the most important part of the video. If you have polyester in your clothes, those clothes are estrogenic. And if you want to know what those are, then check out my video on estrogenics. That exists, yes. <laughs> but basically, it's decreasing every single good thing in your life. And you can fix that. 
partly if you just buy clothes that are made out of cotton made out of leather made out of everything that's not synthetic and made it's pretty organic that is probably the most actionable step that you can do right now and i don't think i need to be the one to tell you this because your mom has told this to you since you were three years old but your clothes should not be dirty stained or smelly if it's either one of them the people around you are going to like ha have this like safety distance of like two meters or something especially if you're smelly bro that's horrible and i do not want you to be a victim of that so each time you go outside check like hey are my clothes stained are my clothes dirty in some way do they smell like <laughs> do they smell like i just took a shit and if they do switch them now if they aren't then yeah go ahead and that is definitely the most important thing because if you do not fulfill that criterion all of the things that i've said before are basically useless like you can have the best clothes if this if you have a white t-shirt as like a big black stain in the bottom left corner then nobody's gonna take you seriously bro you're gonna look like a mine worker or something like that <laughs> i don't think that's what you want so in general if you don't want to be treated like a pushover wear good clothes of high quality wear clothes that don't have too much going on on them and yeah feel free to experiment a little bit you can definitely find some pretty cool combos that work for you specifically and with that said i thank you very much for watching this video and remember this stuff is not free but this is going to be a big big thing in your arsenal once you have like good clothes for yourself and yeah thank you very much for watching and i hope this helped you see ya